Well, well, well. We finally got our very first piece of WoW Classic news today. We finally got our very first update. Our very first update on the development of WoW Classic. And if you guys missed it, this happened a few hours ago. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay in the video. I, uh, I was actually just on Asmongold's stream. We were talking about it for a while. And uh, I, I just got off and, and I wanted to make a video, kind of uh, a brief, brief video explaining my thoughts, what I think, let you guys know how excited I am, of course, and uh, what, I'm, what I'm looking forward for for the future. Uh, I, I'm actually really surprised. I'm really surprised that we got something like this. It's just totally out of the blue. It's been about seven months since we got any sort of classic news, any legitimate classic news. Uh, it's been since BlizzCon. Actually, it's seven months today since my uh, my YouTube ban from streaming private servers. So, uh, kind of funny. Kind of funny how uh, uh, the timing on that. But first thing I want to talk about is is how far they actually are along in development. I, uh, I, I think a lot of people were worried just because we hadn't heard anything. A lot of people in the vanilla community, it's almost like a sigh of relief because a, a lot of people were like, oh, have they even started? Like, wh where are they? And to be honest, you couldn't really say either way. I mean, surely you would, you would hope that they had started, that they had gotten some legitimate development in. Um, but this, the fact that they already have two prototypes in, or at least they're willing to tell us that they have two prototypes already done, that's very encouraging because I think it's more than likely that they've already gone beyond this point. This is just what they're willing to tell us. So in the first prototype, they basically went through and, and they wanted to decide what we're going to do like what are we going to base the game off of what patch 1.1 true progressive are we going to do 1.12 and basically what it looks like they, they've decided to do is go with the 1.12 kind of go with the the uh you know what what the overwhelming majority of people are most familiar with at this point and that's 1.12 they think it's the most complete version of the classic experience uh i've talked about this before in classic cast i've talked about it in my streams I think a lot of people thought it was very likely that they would go with 1.12 uh, as opposed to doing a true progressive just because it makes the most sense for them. Uh, I think that's something that is uh, th that people should be really happy about, going off 1.12. Uh, not really surprised they thought that they were going to have some issues uh, not recognizing modern video cars. They had some technical issues with it on the back end. and. Uh, that's really something that's, that's uh, to be expected. That's something to be expected. They got the game up and running. That's great. That's awesome with the first prototype. With the second prototype, and this is something that, this, this, this is what you should be excited about. Because in the second prototype, they basically went through and they were like, okay, what they want to do is, is they want to figure out what patch, the experience. 1.12, boom, you got that. And then the second prototype was basically to figure out how they're how they are going to get there and they went through and they looked at the game and they said look wow is a game that builds upon itself right they've had i i think they're on they're they're about to start patch 8.0 with bfa so this is a game that's built on itself so much over the years and they've gone back and, and they've changed a lot of the code they've changed a lot of this they changed a lot of that um However, a lot of the original stuff in the game is still there. So they can go back and they can downscale it, which is what they're looking at doing. They're looking at downscaling the game, going back and adding in things like the skill ranks, old quest, terrain, so on, talents. That's a big deal. But then while doing that, they can also keep things like transmog and achievements out. So what they're basically planning on doing is they want to go through and they want to take the back-end changes that have been made to the game, server stability stuff, uh, just basically how things work, right? Data in the game, how, how spells are programmed. They want to take the improvements that they've made there on the back-end, which is actually, uh, again, something that, that has come up very often, is that back-end changes are, are something that's very likely to happen. Uh, the integration of Battle.net, it, it's going to happen. It just has to be done the right way. But they've gone through and they said, okay, we can keep all that while going back and downscaling and, uh, and giving people the original experience of the game. So next what they do is they go through and they actually explain, and this is something I, I, I appreciate a lot, 
they went through and kind of explained like, okay, you want to talk about recreating an authentic classic experience, and that's something you should really take note of. Authentic classic experience with modern engineering. Ian Hasakosa said it. Vanilla is vanilla. Uh, I, I, they, they haven't shown anything so far before this saying that they want anything other than an authentic classic experience. Vanilla is vanilla. They want to give us vanilla wow uh, as close to the original experience as they can. So they go through and they explain how like spell tables have changed, how engineering has changed. And they talk about how, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit more in a second on the classic DB, but for example, you take fireball and it has, it, every spell basically had up to three effects. So for fireball, effect one, deal damage. Effect two, apply aura. Deal damage is just the damage value. It's fire damage, whatever. Aura two is the dot that comes on fireball afterward. This is for mages. And you can actually see this right here on the classic DB. Effect one, effect two, and this is how the spells were originally designed. What ended up changing is the game became more complex. They, they wanted to go through and make things more streamlined. Instead of having one table with all the data and having a bunch of these nothing blank spots, you see? Instead of doing that, they wanted to go through and basically, well, now you have a spell table. You have a spell effect table, you have a spell aura table, and then you basically call the different things together to get the spell that you're casting. So these are the kind of back-end changes that they're looking at making at the game. Uh, however, that's not going to affect, like the player is not going to be able to notice that is, is essentially what they're saying. This is the kind of stuff that's going to help the stability of the game, uh, basically make it, uh, make it something where they're going to be able to do. From my perspective, how I'm taking this is that they're going to be able to make it on a faster timeline than if they were to, to just go through and, and recreate the game from the ground up. On top of that, uh, they're going to basically be able to take that client, how what the game's done over the years, something else that we've brought up in the past, uh, the fact that the original 1.12 client only utilizes one core of your processor. That's not going to be an issue. So if they're taking what the game has now and downscaling it, that's very good news in terms of getting the game out in, in a timely fashion, a timely manner. Um, the big, one of the big takeaways in a way, or one of the big things to take away from this, excuse me, is that we are looking forward to the challenges ahead and share your passion for the classic game. Every code check-in data conversion we make brings WoW Classic closer to providing you that authentic experience that you and we want. You and we want. They've heard everybody. They've heard us say it. No changes. And, and this basically all but confirms that. And that's something that I think people should be really excited for, really excited to look forward to. And to be honest with you, my initial prediction, or not my, my initial prediction was November of this year uh, that we'd get something just because I thought surely they won't take two years or more to, to release something after they announce it. But given the fact that we hadn't heard anything in so long, I thought that, hey, you know what? They might wait for the 15th anniversary. They might wait for November 23rd, 2019. But <laughs> given this... And while that may still happen, given this, I, I feel very confident in believing that around BlizzCon time, it is very, very likely that we can get some sort of WoW Classic Alpha or Beta, something publicly uh, that we might be able to uh, might be able to get our hands on. So, again, very, very excited about this. If you're a fan of WoW Classic, you should be very excited about this as well. I'm going to put the link to this article in the description. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys soon.